Good morning. Happy Monday, ladies and gentlemen. Hello to all my friends and family and all our HOC family. Happy Monday. There we go. There's the bridge you guys like. Love it. I'm going to get right on it. So um, this morning, a friend of mine sent me a little mindset video that um, was right on point for me today. Uh, it's from a a motivational coach named Mel Robbins and um, she talked about how everyone's kind of losing their uh, their enthusiasm uh, their motivation and things like that and uh, especially people that are in the business that we're in where we um, inspire and motivate others all the time how do we continue to stay inspired and motivated as as the, to go to people in uh, many of our friends and family's lives. How do we stay inspired and motivated? So she made a good point. She said that um, we've been doing this our whole life. We're built for this. This is what we're built for, my friends. Who's going to show up, you know? Who's going to show up um, when it matters most? That's what we're built for. That's what our philosophy, um, our work ethic, our integrity, um, our mindset, our mental toughness. This is when it counts, man. Now. So with that, I got a little... Uh, breath of fresh air to start my week and uh, you know get it going um, we've all been through the ups and the downs over the last several weeks and um, it's time to kick it into gear who's that over there you can come in all right there's Mario hey man long time no see <laughs> thanks for stopping by just so you guys know, um, typically people that come in and watch these, they don't stay long because they know that we ramble and it can be forever by the time we're done. But I'm going to make my point um, and my, my input um, brief and uh, try to keep everything under 10 minutes. So you're at the pad with Dojo Dad. This reminds me of a wonderful show called The Courtship of Eddie's Father. And most of you guys are too young to know that show, but if you were born in the 60s, uh, it was a wonderful story of a single father raising his son. And uh, it was filled with love and guidance, um, comedy, drama, maybe not much action. So. When we get through this phase, you may see a new web cast show called At the Pad with Dojo Dad. And it's about a single father raising a 12-year-old son who runs a dojo. <laughs> I wonder who's going to play the lead role, huh? Uh, not. So... It's got love and tenderness. It's got action and uh, comedy and drama. It's going to be a wonderful, a wonderful uh, adventure for us to embark on. Something that's truly close to my heart at the pad with Dojo Dad. So I want to tell a quick little story uh, about the early beginnings of the House of Champions. Most of you don't know this, but in 1995, when I opened in Van Nuys, California, United States of America, um, I had a very generous friend of mine um, offer to invest 
in this idea um, of the House of Champions Academy of Martial Arts. So, cut to 25 years later, my friends, and here we are, unstoppable. But back in the day, the first month that I was embarking on this journey where I signed the lease, I'm trying to come up with ideas for how I'm going to make this, um, this dojo work and run. There's no book on it. Nobody taught me how to do it. Um, unlike learning martial arts, the business of martial arts is a completely different skill set, as some of you may know. So with that said, uh, I was building the dojo. We were there in the first month. Lucia, I was there the first month, and um, it was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a weekday, and a bunch of gangsters rolled up and parked in front of my spot. Now, granted, I don't even have my mats down yet. I'm just putting the mirrors up. I think the boxing ring was in. I was using an old desk that I found in an alley um, to be my reception desk. Um, I was putting it all together. Anyways, um, these young men decided to roll up, and uh, as I always do, I went out front to greet them and welcome them and invite them into the dojo. Long story short, that didn't go well. So, I don't know, maybe there was 12, 15 kids out there. I asked them that... Um, they needed to leave because I had to open for my classes. They can't be out there partying and drinking and, you know, sitting on their cars in front of my dojo. And uh, long story short, it turned into a fist fight uh, with myself and um, two of my, um, my guys. And it broke out into the street, into Van Owen. It was very intense for a short period of time till we beat their asses down and they all ran and... Um, um, acted tough. Um, they did their blowfish routine. Long story short, one of the kids in the neighborhood that I had took, taken under my wing from uh, the Jeopardy program, which is a program that works with youth at risk in the community. A lot of kids getting into gangs and drugs and other crap. I invited them in to train them and teach them boxing for free. Um, to support my community as I always have done anyways um, he told me that they put a hit on me after the fight that they were going to come by they were going to roll up on me and uh, try to do some bad things when I called the police there was little that they offered that they could help or do so um, you know, I did what I do. I hunkered down and uh, made sure that I was protected and had the necessary um, weapons to uh, do whatever I had to do to, to hold ground. I had to make a decision at that point whether or not I was going to hold ground and let this thing happen or if I was gonna tuck my tail between my legs and go run off and maybe open in another neighborhood that's safe, that no, nobody's gonna bother me, where everyone's gonna love me. Well, that didn't happen. Superman, Batman, Iron Man, Captain Marvel, they didn't show up, they weren't there. They, trust me, my friends, you're on your own, right? So with that said, uh, it was in a very, a very intense couple of months. And uh, they did put a hit on me, and they did come out. And um, there were a lot of arrests made that day, including some very intense um, um, stuff that I didn't expect. But at the end of the day, we continued to do business there for the first five years. The bad element of this gangster crew was eliminated that's another story in itself and uh, we then eventually moved over to where we are now for the last 20 years which is beautiful 6200 square foot facility all the 
amazing team that we have and so on. So I thought to myself this morning, I said, you know, this coronavirus, it's scary. But so, so was that gang 25 years ago when I'm brand new and all the uncertainties. Uh, my message is that uh, God is good and his plan is what works. So here we are, uh, House of Champions, since 1995. It's crazy. I'm looking forward to uh, getting back at it in the, in the new world and everything that we will be uh, challenged with. But uh, my message as I end here is um, enthusiasm's crucial. It's a crucial ingredient to Hmm. Keeping, keeping at task, keeping the task at hand. You have to stay enthusiastic, especially for 25 years. Let me tell you, without enthusiasm, this party would have ended a long time ago. Hey, Eddie. Nice to see my man, Eddie, from Taiwan. Hope you're safe there, Sensei. We look forward to uh, uh, all your wonderful classes again. Eddie teaches... Um, action actors or stunt fighters um, at the House of Champions, how to, uh, how to do fights and work in the movie business. And uh, we've been enjoying that for quite a few years now. And uh, it's a wonderful part of being the sensei there that we get to work in so many different levels with families and communities and in Hollywood. Hi, Brianna. Mwah. Nice to see you, sweetheart. Uh, sensei Bree, she's uh, one of my long-term, old-time um, gals, tough as nails, and uh, I hope you guys are doing well, okay? Say hi to your mom for me. So, I want to thank my team um, for being unstoppable. Uh, Jesse, it's been amazing. We're working on our conversion while we're at home. There's a lot of input and stuff like that. And Sensei David Hernandez, Master Hernandez is, you know, my main man. And uh, we're getting all the information in and um, ready to go on to iPads and tablets and all that stuff when we get back to the new world. So uh, we're working away. We're working away. I'm getting ready to leave here and go to the dojo by myself to go do uh, 40 minutes on the treadmill. I do a high-intensity workout. And then um, I lift for 40 minutes and do strength and conditioning. And then um, I'll top it off with five rounds on the bags, um, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai. I'll do some ground and pound work, and then I'll do some MMA. I'll mix it all up at the end, uh, stand up to ground, stand up to ground, and uh, finish with a nice stretch. So that's my Monday, Wednesday, Friday at the dojo. And then um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I train from home. I uh, also have the privilege to work with my son and uh, teach him things that I know and that I've been learning over the last 40 years. Uh, so, you know, you talk about silver linings. That's for sure. That's for sure. Oh, look for your silver linings, my friends. Uh, we have Facebook Friday. So you can see wonderful videos and pictures and stories. And uh, Jesse, it's been great with putting that together for us giving us uh, this awesome content. We have so much gold in our archives. It's unbelievable. Hello, Mama Cheryl. I love you. Mama Cheryl, what, the original mamas, one of the original mamas, uh, and her daughter, Shara, husband, Paul. Miss you guys. Hey, so, um, yeah, we've been uh, working unstoppable, working on the conversion, the upgrades. We have uh, face Flashback Friday happening. We also now on Sundays have HOC Family. So we're asking you, my friends, to share pictures or videos of years gone past or what have you, what you're doing now. Uh, and we'll highlight those on Sundays on our Facebook Live. Well, not our Facebook Live, but uh, I don't think it's live. 
but you'll see it. It goes onto YouTube and our Facebook page. Uh, be sure to tell your friends to watch, share, like, comment on all of our content. We have videos going out weekly in all styles and disciplines, okay, by the top instructors anywhere. My whole team is shooting videos relevant for whatever programs they're working on or they share, uh, wish to share, you know, from karate to boxing to kickboxing, Muay Thai, MMA, uh, straight jiu-jitsu, self-defense, uh, Filipino fighting arts, our Dose Pares Escrima, and um, of course, rock steady boxing, Dean Moskowitz, man. Big shout out to Dean. He's been relentless. Oh, there's my girl. I've been thinking about you, Gloria. Give my love to the family, okay? Wow. I've been thinking a lot about you, too. Uh, so, yeah, a lot's going on. Facebook, uh, House of Champions, uh, spread the word. I'm a little anxious because I've been doing my best to reach out to the over 400 members, families, and friends of the House of Champions. And uh, we've done the emails. Only 20% of most people open their emails. And then uh, uh, I've been doing uh, mass texts, and also I'll be doing a mass voicemail that goes to their voice message. So I'm hoping to reach every single one of my House of Champions family and spread the word that we are jamming there's uh great stuff going on and of course who doesn't want to see at the pad with dojo dad on monday mornings okay i always look forward to uh being able to share my thoughts and feelings with you guys so i'm gonna wrap it up pretty quick here and uh, wish everyone a unstoppable week and uh i'm gonna finish with a few thoughts about enthusiasm so I'll give you a couple of quotes that I like, that I picked out today. Hmm. Wow, there's so many good ones. I can't even tell you. All we need to make us happy, to make us really happy, is something to be enthusiastic about. Hmm. That's Charles Kingsley. Interesting, huh? Very good. Huh. There's some great ones here. There's nothing greater than enthusiasm. Henry Moore. <laughs> Here's a good one. Boredom is the fear of self. Whoa. That's a big one. Let me give you one more. This is a good one for me. As I grow older, part of my emotional survival plan must be to actively seek inspiration instead of passively waiting for it to find me. Actively seek inspiration instead of waiting for it to find you, my friends. That's my word for the day. My man, Roberto, thank you for uh, watching and checking in. I wish everyone a great week. Don't forget, you can always reach out to me personally with a phone call or a text or an email. Also, you can reach out to us at info at House of Champions. We're checking the emails, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing everyone soon. Okay, have a great day. Us.